Here we go. Yeah. It's wow. Hey everybody, this is Bill with Live Simple, Live Free. And the seasons are moving on. It's a beautiful fall day. And I wanna get the outside, everything done on the exterior before the weather sets in. So the next thing I'm gonna be doing is trying to finish up this patio. So I'm gonna to have to get some stone. Uh, and I'll show you why in a second here. But I'm gonna be bar uh, borrowing Barry's pickup truck to go to the quarry to get the stone because it's considerably cheaper when you do that than when you have it delivered. So, uh, but let me show you why I need the stone. Okay, so this is where I need the gravel up against the wall, but I need quite a bit of it because we have the back door right here and we plan to be able to come out the back door and then right in here, we're gonna have a hot tub. Very cool, huh? A hot tub. <laughs> and then over here, I'm planning on putting an outside shower so that we can shower off before or after we get into the tub. It'll be up there on the wall, but there has to be some, some place for the water to go. So it'll go down into this drain pipe down here, which is the perforated drain pipe that goes all the way around the foundation. So I'm going to fill this entire part up here with, with gravel, number 57 stone. The water drains through it easily. That way when we shower off before we get in the tub, the water will go down through the gravel, get into that perforated pipe and drain out that way. That would be a whole lot better than having dirt here and everything turns to mud uh, every time we turn the shower on. So over here I only need enough gravel to cover the pipe, but over here the gravel is going to come all the way up. Now right here I put some mortar around the bottom of the foundation sloping away and then I painted it with this is a waterproof foundation coat and hopefully any of the water that comes down here will hit that and be pushed away from the foundation and into the pipe at least that's the theory of how that will work so now I just gotta fill this up with gravel so this is one ton of gravel in the back of the pickup truck I didn't want to get any more than that because that's about all this truck can handle. Uh, gravel is heavy. But I was absolutely amazed when I went to the, uh, the quarry to get this. If you are watching this series, you know that I am fairly proficient at using um, earth digging equipment, backhoes and things. I've been doing it for decades and I'm pretty good on the backhoe. The front end loader, is more difficult to use but I can still handle myself with that as well but I was amazed when I went in to get the this gravel from the quarry because they had this big huge pile this is number 57 stone by the way they had this big huge pile of it and they had a front end loader there to load me up and that thing was so big I could it was like 30 feet tall <laughs> and the wheels were taller than my truck here and uh, <clears throat> This is my son's truck, by the way, that I'm borrowing. And the guy drove up and I opened the window and I'm talking up to him and I told him I wanted one ton and okay. You know. <laughs> he, well, now when you use a front end loader, you can't really see what's in the bucket. When you scoop something up, it's in front of you and you can't see how much is in there. So he went over there to the pile of stone with this huge bucket that, like I said, could fit the entire truck inside of there. And he scooped up just a tiny little bit and he never, I would have had to get out and look, go around and look and make sure I had any, some in there or how much. He never looked at anything. He just drove over to the pickup here, dumped it in, just dumped in everything that he had in the bucket and drove away. I was absolutely amazed that he knew about how much he had in there to be able to fill this about halfway, like I said, for one ton. I specifically said one ton. So then I went to pay for it and you drive across the scale. They, they weigh you on the way in, then they weigh you on the way out. I drove across the scale. This, are you ready for this, is 1.03 tons of gravel. 1.03. How could he do that 
without even getting out and looking in his bucket to make sure he had any in there like I would do. All I can figure is he must have some kind of a built-in scale on his front end loader that he can tell how much weight he's got in the bucket. I have no idea. That's all I can figure out. Maybe some of you know, but I don't have a clue. I was bamfoozled. I was amazed. 1.03 tons when I asked for a ton. And he didn't even look in the bucket to see how much stone was there. Amazing. By the way, as I'm editing this, I realized I needed to add something here because I mentioned to Barry later that I was amazed by that. And he told me, yeah, the same thing happened to him. He couldn't figure it out. He was amazed. And he said he pulled the front end loader over and, and talked to the guy about it. And he said, the, the driver said, yeah, if you fill the bucket and then you lift it all the way up as high as it'll go, and then you push a button, there's actually a built-in scale and it'll tell you exactly how much it weighs. And he can, he said he can get it to within the pound, which is absolutely amazing. So anyway, that solves my, uh, my mystery. <laughs>
That way I can put gravel on this side and dirt on that side. This is nothing fancy and it's going to be completely buried so it's not going to move or anything like that. Just kind of keep the gravel from going that way too far. And you know what? I think I'm going to chance it and move the backhoe forward another foot see if I can dump it here that's going to save me moving a ton of gravel by hand get it a ton of gravel yeah we'll see what happens I still won't be going out onto the the main part of the top of the, uh, the septic tank my wheel will just be over the edge a little bit. I'm nervous. Well, that worked. Septic tank didn't collapse. I still got to move this into the final position by hand, but it's a whole lot easier than shoveling it all out of that bucket. So I brought in my last bucket load, which I did not film. And uh, I thought a ton was going to be too much. I thought I was going to have to put some of it over here. But it looks like this is going to be just about what I need. I hope it's enough. do too much of that at one time. Do this for 20 minutes and go take a two hour break. <laughs> Getting dark.
I think the camera is doing a pretty good job of the lighting, but it's getting too dark for me to see, so I'm going to have to quit. So now all of that end of the patio is pretty much level in the way I like it. I'm happy with that, so now I need to work over here. And notice that this block work is actually the top of the patio, and that whole section of dirt in, in there is anywhere from six to eight inches, maybe a foot too high. So I'm going to have to take that whole thing down to make it level with the top of the block right there and the first row of block over there. Fortunately, now in this section I can get the backhoe in there and it won't be a problem, so I should be able to make pretty fast work of it. Woohoo! Thanks, hon. There was like a big bump there, and it was hard for me to get over. This is awesome. It's getting all flat now. I am seriously excited. Thanks. I'll be able to get around so much better. Woo! <laughs> Okay, so now I'm very happy with that. And over here, I've got more dirt. So what I'm gonna do is deconstruct this wall a little bit, flare it out a little bit more. Instead of making it go like that, it'll come out and around, make the uh, patio a little bigger. I really don't wanna do the work to deconstruct a little bit of this wall, but It'll be nice to have a bigger patio. I didn't know how big to make it because I didn't know how much dirt I was going to have. So now that I've got an idea, I can actually do that. Okay, so here's the plan. This backfill that I just put in here is going to settle over time. Probably at least an inch, maybe two. And uh, if I was going to finish all of this right now, I should get a compacting tool it's a big thing that you run across there and it vibrates and it compacts it. But I'm not going to do that because we're not going to finish this until next summer. Uh, what I'm going to do is <clears throat> let this settle over the winter and then next summer when I'm ready to put in the patio stone, we bring in some sand and you spread that out an inch or two thick and that smooths it out and it gives it a nice soft surface to be able to get your patio stone level and smooth. So I'll do the patio stone next summer, and then hopefully by next summer we'll be able, because we're, we're almost out of money because we'll be building this, so we need the money and save the money for the patio stone and for the uh, hot tub. So hopefully we'll be able to do those things next summer. So in the meantime, <clears throat> I'm just going to uh, 
plant some seed. And then next summer I should just be able to mow the grass and then put the sand right on top of it and the patio stones and that will kill the grass very quickly. But this seed of grass seed, if it grows this fall, which it should, will kind of hold the uh, dirt in place. Oh dear, what do you think of our new patio? Oh, it, it's beautiful. In fact, it was just raining and it makes those, the color just come out beautiful. Yeah, I know, I love it, hon. I think it's gonna be wonderful. And look, you put that really cool step there yep. to just step down off the patio. I love that. It's I still great. have that one block that I need to cut with a saw to make it fit, but it's, a, it's done except for that. Oh, that is really cool. No, I, I like it. This is, this is gonna be really, really nice to have that all ready for us out you know you can outside. see over here where um the dirt is starting to right in there starting to settle already it used to be all the way up to that line where the block was and now it's already down a few inches so it's going to be settling a lot over the next year or so now we've still got like dirt here yeah. um what were you thinking about doing with that? Well, originally I was going to just extend this wall, keep it going that way. And then when I smoothed off the top of the patio, discovered I had this extra dirt, I thought I would extend the wall out a little bit further and make it larger. But then I realized I'm still going to need all that dirt next spring to put in where it's settled. Where, where it is it's like settling down so we can keep the level up as it's settling. So I think I'm just going to continue the wall the way I was. I'm going to have to dig part of that back out of the way. Continue the wall the way it was and then just pile the dirt up there and leave it sit so that I have a supply of dirt to uh, put in where it settles. Right. So we can, over the, over the course of time, end up with it at the right level as right. it settles in. Right. But yeah. It's been raining for like, what, four days now, five days? <laughs> yeah. This is all just mud. And I can't work, do this kind of work when it's mud. And we're supposed to have, I think, at least three more days of rain. Right. It's, yeah, God's it's, watering it's my a little garden. break right now, but it's raining most <laughs> of the time. So I'm going to have to wait till it stops raining, and then I'm going to have to give it a few days for it to dry out before I can start to, to do this work again. Okay. So I guess that means that basically we're done with this video <laughs> <laughs> well yeah because he'll get that dirt moved and get the wall finished and then you know before we put any uh, flagstones down for the patio we want to make sure that the dirt is level and very settled right so all right so i guess i'll go ahead and get this video out because it's going to be at least another week week and a half probably before i can get the, any more patio done is your head getting cut off yeah <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
Here we go. <laughs> now I can say a proper goodbye. Yes. <laughs> so, I hope you've enjoyed watching us, watching me work on this patio. We're really excited about it. Next yeah. spring, we get that patio stone on top. We get the hot tub over there, the shower, and uh, picnic table and stuff out here. And you can get one of those round tables with an umbrella if you want. Yep. Although the sun sets that way, so it'll be in the shade of the house probably starting about 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. So. Very useful. Yep. Okay. So. Well, I'm glad that you got to go along as he's working on this patio. Yep. I think it's going to end up, when it gets a chance to settle and we get everything in there, it's going to be nice. Yep. Really nice. So thanks for watching, everybody. Yep. Live simple. Live free. You be blessed. Yep. Love you guys, and of course, we'll see you soon. Yep. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you, dear one. Because of all the rain, the grass seed that I just spread out is starting to grow already.